Hey there, friends, and welcome back to episode 26 of season 4 of the Genetic Rim. And this is most likely going to be our last episode of this series. Hard to believe, considering that the Genetic Rim has accompanied me this long, or well, this particular series in special, um, especially. And now we're almost there. The Architect Centipede will awaken in five days. We just need to survive that long. <laughs> Our numbers have dwindled down to three people at this point. We lost last episode yet another of, uh, of ours. <laughs> and we didn't even get a chance to bury him or her. I can't remember because the animals were quicker than that. Yeah. That's... That's what it is. So, at the same time, I don't feel too worried about this whole situation. We are, we are just fine. At least we have a fair and square chance of making it. So, let's see. Fast forward this a bit because right now there's not much we can do. Except for hope, uh, except to hope that we're going to last through this few, through these few days now, and then everything will go fine. So the finale this time was a lot more threatening than I assumed. Pebblemid revenge. Yeah. Gotta say, the Pebblemit though really did something. 7.1 bleeding percent. I mean, come on. So, all over the area, immediately attacking. So, where's everybody? We're fine. So let's see, there's Scythers incoming, Scyther, yet another Scyther, okay. Not too worried about the situation at all. If it's just four Scythers, they will just destroy themselves in, our, in my defenses here. I highly doubt that they'll even reach anybody here. Okay. Nice. All right. Do I want to do this? No. I don't need a heal root at this point. I got all the medicine I need. Whoa, Johnny, you are allowed to move. I really thought I undrafted him back then. So, work order bed rest ain't that important anymore. So, that was a pretty harmless raid. I also feel like the lower the amount of people went into in my colony, the easier the combats were. So, let's check out these disgusting swarmlings, what they are, what they are up to. running all the way down there. Well, possibly it was running away from my raptors. <laughs> okay. Only a few more days. Multi-barrel weapons. Yeah, great, I guess. I think we're way past that, but... Well. So, TJ. My lover died. Bonded animal died. Colonists died. Friend died. Friend died. Friend lost. Well. Can't... Can't everybody be a stone cold guy like Johnny who's just psychopathic and problems? We got problems. 
Erogain is carrying the burden of the situation better, but can't say that he's happy either. All right. Three more days. So far, I'm pretty positive about this. For some reason, the raids have stopped. I guess raid par parties are now, well, their numbers would be too low. So the game rather assigns lower counts of mechanoids against me. At least that's what I'm assuming here. So we got a few scraps of tin. Don't even know what I'm supposed to do with all that stuff. But that's, that's not important. Why are my batteries that down? Somebody care to explain? And there goes the next turn from the mech hive there. So whenever the mechs don't manage to land in my base, the whole fight is dumbed down a lot. Yeah. Killing robots with wood. That's what we do. That's the power of spike traps. If anybody had doubts about the power of spike traps so far, how, how does that look like? <laughs> All right, we need more, more wood. I mean, the downside is if you don't, if you ain't got no materials and no building power to build them, you don't have any benefit from them. Unlike a turret, which just acts on its own and can even explode in the face of your enemies. Must say, in this particular scenario, Omnibot is a lot of the reason why things are working out so fine. Without the help of Omnibot, we wouldn't be that good. Loyal Hive. Open up tunnels, allowing larger swarms to crawl through. Destroy their burrows as soon as possible. Royal Burrow. Okay. Never had that before. Sounds like fun. Okay. I'd say we need to assign the squ assemble the squad here. Well, traps are really not stocked up at all. So what I'm going to do is I'll keep Erogain here and TJ and Johnny are going to take up a secret mission here. I think that's going to be the best job, uh, the best way to do it. So can we destroy those things? And how dangerous is it to get close? I mean, that's a pretty big attack from that hive there. Alright. Gotta love those turrets for softening up entire squads of enemies. Looks like we're quite good here. Okay, and TJ and Johnny are now in trouble. So... We're gonna use the Insanity Lance here. And retreat for now. Isn't that thing berserking? 
shouldn't be attacking its buddies now. All right. So we're going to drop that thing too. All right. There we go. So we can finish this guy off just like that. TJ is not dying this time. Awesome. We got it, I think. Wow, TJ, shooting 10. So, let's retreat. That thing can't move fast anymore. All right, there we go. Please tell me that. Seriously, that low amount of time they are gonna reattack just like that. Sick. Like seriously, those burrows are insanely quick. They restock there, but now with the animals in in range, it shouldn't be that much of a problem there. I'll send away TJ because he's basically here in trouble. And we're just gonna melee attack those freaking things here. Well, I don't like this me mechanic at all, I gotta say. I really don't like it at all. This is so insanely difficult to destroy those things. Like, what are we supposed to do here? I'm risking my base here with that because it takes that extremely long. So, tell you what, I'm going to mind control my Diplo Beetle here. And. Oh man, can it order controls? You can't. What's that mind control actually good for, you know? I keep asking myself. I'm very, very dis um, disappointed with the mind control because you're basically not able to assign your animals to melee attack something. It's just not possible, you know? kind of ruins the idea of the whole thing there. So, oh god, there's yet another thing. Urgh, this is annoying. This is not dangerous, this is just friggin' tedious. That's all. So whoever invented that, I really don't like that. Active Mechanite's binge on Urgain. Good job. Insects arrived and are attacking. Like, seriously, that's... The fact that you're... That it's so hard to actually take it down and you can't really get any animals on it. That's, uh... Who designed that? Seriously. At least give me some, some interface where I can send people to just de destroy it, you know? Because that really, right now, is one of the biggest problems I've seen so far. Need meal sauce? What happened to my cooking spot? Um, am I missing something? Need recreation variety? TJ! You're not going to slaughter all our animals. Okay, so I really didn't like that event, but only because it's so damn difficult to destroy those burrows. Like, why? So 
So TJ. TJ really tanks a lot in this um, whole scenario. He's not only losing his his beloved, he's also taking all the steps, bites and cracks in this whole fight. He even lost a leg. Poor guy. Well, okay. Robots are busy. Robots are busy. Good. Need meal source. But everything is here. So we get yet another insectoid attack. All right. They want to use sappers this time. Say what? So let's see. It seems like they're going to... The question is, where are they going to attack me first? Pretty sure Johnny should be able to fight this off all on his own. But we're running low on traps and such. It's just the usual situation when a campaign like this goes on for a longer period of time. It almost always looks like this, sooner or later. All the defenses are massively rugged and... There's a lot of problems everywhere, basically. So Johnny, why are you actually still using the handgun? Like, seriously. Here's some fancy pants high-tech mechano uh, mechanoid sniping rifle. I, I trust my revolver more. Okay, but here we go. Good job. All right. Good job, good job. How come that we're running out of power that often? Does this thing actually need a power supply? It does look like it does. Yeah, you do you. Honestly, if he's if, if he just wants to tantrum a, a bit, I I don't care at all. Like, that's, that's completely fine for me. If you're feeling like that, TJ, I can't actually relate. Okay, one more attack, I guess, and then we're fine. Still wondering why we're needing recreation variety and meal sources when there's still pretty much everything here. I mean, Johnny's just watching some telly. But, yeah, it's just not enough. Well, high expectations. Sure. We are cert most certainly in the position to have high expectations now, I guess. Not. Alright, but we seem to be able to finish this one. Alright. But let's not be too happy too early. So, let's see. Johnny used his last charge of that item, didn't he? Yeah. So, we're going to equip that. Yeah, let's try that psychic pacifier. I mean, basically... Turning somebody into one of mine could be helpful too. All right, eight more hours and then it's gonna be alive. 
And all your attempts to stop me have failed. Seriously, why are we um, eating so much power right now? Can't really understand what's happening there. During nighttime, my grid is just collapsing. And I don't really understand why. And the rapier lineup is trying their luck one more time. And they come yet again with sappers, but now... This time, I'll just call my friends and let them handle that for me. I'm just so tired of situations like these. Oh, Johnny won't do so social. Whoops. Johnny is that cre creepy guy that just dials your number and then he doesn't talk anything. So, here we go. Our friends from the World Treaty are now coming to help from exactly the other angle and they will be coming in time right after the combat is over. Good job guys, you are just exactly the kind of help you want to pay goodwill for. Nice. It happens so often whenever I go for this, but at least these guys are the, the most pathetic sappers in, uh, in the, on this room world, so... There's at least some good news behind that. So let's recall the bots for now. So here we go. Bulgar. Well, this turret never was meant to work against people who are shooting back, to be fair. Oh, that's just fine. Ooh, they're lobbing nados. Oh, I don't like that. And the Blue Moon Corporation is raiding me at the same time as well. Jeez, that's a lot of action there. So these guys just leisurely want to destroy my, my generator here. So we're going to use a Insanity Lance on steward. There we go. So let's enjoy that berserking guy with those grenades. I hope you guys will like him. I liked him too. Now it's your turn. Let's take a little bit of a distance though. That one guy rides a explosive animal. Reactor ready. So let's see. Let's start the Activate Architect Centipede. Okay, let's do this. Oh! I didn't expect the screen to turn white here. You've activated the Architect Project. These colonists were present for the Architect Awakening. The Architect Centipede is now under their control and you are free to decimate your enemies and control the planet unopposed. Congratulations, you have won the game with the Genetic Rim mod. Awesome. So, now I have this wonderful little beastie. <laughs> Hi. So, that's mine. And, let's see. Maybe the mind control here works on that one here. Architect Centipede. So, let's see. I want to send it after these they, these blue moon guys to send them a warm welcome from my colony. So, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> it's shifting lasers. <laughs> Holy! So inflict chicken rim pox. Okay, let's see. That was a one one strike kill. So that's my little that's my little centipede. Say hi to my centipede. Alright. I'm happy now. I'm really, really happy now. I can't put it into a different words. Johnny should be happy now too. So let's check out the stats from that thing. 
So, the Architect Centipede is the end result of the Architect project, aiming to provide a friendly machine superintelligence with a capable body. Even though the Centipede is forcefully loyal to the colonists and can be somewhat controlled by them, most other inhabitants of the planet will consider its existence to be an abomination since dabbling in Architect usually signals the end of comprehensible human life. Useful and abilities. What do you mean useful? You have won the game. The Architect Centipede is basically unkillable by normal means. Just use it to lay waste to everything on the planet. You don't have enemies now. You have pets. Or the Architect may kill all your colonists. One of the two. <laughs> so. Move speed 10 cells per second. So, 1500 damage. Yeah. <laughs> 200 DPS. Yes, yes. That's by far the strongest thing I've ever seen in the game here so far. So, orbital power beam. We can also do this. That's sick. <laughs> this thing... Does that thing have no cooldown on it? Is that... Abilities recharging. Okay. Okay, I'm relieved. At least the orbital power beam is not something you can do as often as you want to. Burn anything around you, cat reflexes, start burrowing, start stampede, adrenaline burst. Yeah, okay. So... Okay. So my friends, that's the end of this story. I am very, very happy to... to see that this... Oh, there's one more thing um, to see that this worked out. I mean, we really, we really did it, you know. I'm so happy that we actually did it. And so, drop me a comment down below. If you have any ideas or wishes for future RimWorld projects, please let me know. I would be super happy to, to check out if that's doable. And thus ends the story of our friends here. Zap. <laughs> this is maybe the coolest thing I've ever did. So, like I said, it's all it's all been said and done. Catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.